All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So let's have a quick discussion about the new Halloween Dokkan Festival banner on Global. I'll give you guys my overall thoughts, what I think of the featured units, and overall, is there enough value for most players to you know, spend their stones and summon on the banner, or should most people be saving them and you know, waiting for the Dual Dokkan Fest in November, LR Blue Boys, LR Jiren, and so on and so forth. Okay, so first things first, obviously when I initially saw the news, right, in game and realized that there wasn't gonna be a new Dokkan Festival exclusive unit on this banner, I was a little bit surprised. I think most people were. I think some of us were expecting Angel Golden Frieza, even though it would have been super, super early. It was like the only one that made sense. And some people were thinking maybe a global first unit of some kind, that was also a possibility. But I never considered the possibility that, yeah, we might get a Dokkan Festival banner with Dokkan Festival units, but not a new unit. And the crazy thing is, we just got, for the last banner on Global, right, the Double Rates Rising Dragon Carnival banner, which also didn't have a new summonable unit. So this is now back-to-back -back banners for two celebrations with no new unit, which I don't think has ever happened in the history of this game. So that's why I was so surprised, right? I was like, yo, the last banner we got, the last major banner we got, didn't have a featured unit, or a new unit rather, so... Uh, this banner for Halloween must have something. Last year we got LR Full Power Frieza. I know a lot of people weren't that excited, but it was still a new LR. It was still a new unit to summon for, and uh, I was expecting the same for this year. Okay, so yeah, that was a surprise, but not a huge deal. Um, now let's take a quick look at the featured units on this banner. And the reason that I said it's not a huge deal is because I think this banner is actually insanely, insanely good. Okay, the value here is one of the highest of like almost any banner we've seen as far as Dokkan Fest banners go. Okay, so we got AGL Bardock, amazing, one of the best TURs in the game. You guys know how good the cooler is. Okay, a lot of people still think that cooler is currently the best TUR in the game right now. And then we have Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku, I would say he's still up there, hits really hard, amazing active skill, all that good stuff. And this guy, okay, so Int Future Gohan. Int Future Gohan has not been back on Global since his first banner, which was nine months ago. So I said on Twitter last night, I was like, yo, okay, so I know we didn't get a new unit, but I mean, like, if you think about it, Int Future Gohan coming back to Global for the first time is basically like getting a new unit, because as far as I know, most people didn't really summon on his banner when it dropped the first time around, so... I guess there's that. I mean, technically, of course, he's not a new unit, but to a lot of people, he, he, he kind of is, because I don't have him. I did like two multis. Most of my friends only did like one or two multis as well, didn't get him. So the fact that we can get him now, finally, right, is uh, I think it's a pretty big deal. I think it's pretty exciting, and um, he is available in the coin shop as well, so you don't have to obviously summon this banner for him, which is even better, because it's, it's almost like a new unit coming out but you don't have to summon for them, we can just buy them in the Baba shop. I know it's not the same thing, but it, it, it's kind of like that, right? It, it's kind of... Anyways, uh, we have him. He's amazing too. He is actually, in my opinion, a top 5 or top, or top 10 TUR as far as his overall utility goes. And then we have uh, Android 13, who is also phenomenal. I think he's underrated. He does good damage. He has actually really good defense. So overall, just a very solid unit. And then we have... Uh, Namek Goku, still very good. His damage um, is solid. His defense can be very good, actually, like extremely high on some of the longer events like LGE or Infinite Dragon Ball History, so on and so forth. And then we have this guy, so okay. <laughs> this is the one reason I don't want to summon on this banner, okay? Because I pulled, I think, close to 10 copies of him during the uh, Worldwide Celebration, right? So it's just like, do I want to. Expose myself to that pain again, right? Do I wanna actually? Wait, it was during the Worldwide Celebration, right? I think it was on the Gogeta. No, not Gogeta. Uh, the Vegito banner. Am I getting my banners mixed up? I might be. I don't know. Either way, I've pulled way too many copies of him. Okay, way too many useless copies. So like, I. He's still a good unit for sure. He's still a very strong unit. I'll, I'll give him that. It's just for me personally, and for most people that I've been playing for a while, who have summoned for 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 a bit, right? Um, most of us haven't done because he's been featured so many times over the years. But with that said, 
uh, he is still good, like I said. And then we have some SRs for, you know, raising super attack. So that is the banner, guys. Seven featured SSRs, all of them top notch, especially these three guys right here, uh, or these four guys, rather. Um, I would say this guy's actually a bit of a tier below, but still really good. But this guy, this guy, and this guy are all amazing. So as far as like value on a Dokkan Fest banner, even though there's no new unit, uh, the value here is insane. If you compare it to like any normal Dokkan Festival banner, usually you're getting like two, three category leads who are like solid, but not like all some of the best in the game at the same time, right? So uh, I would say if you guys ha are missing like at least three of these units, right? Three of these featured Dokkan Fest TURs, then it's actually worth it to do a couple multis. I would still not recommend anybody to do too many because we do have some pretty OPS units coming up. But I mean, like I said, if you if you are missing at least three, then you probably have a pretty good chance of pulling at least one of them. And you know, it, it's it's great value. That's just my opinion. Yo, now uh, let's actually pop over to the Pilaf's Trove. I want to talk about that too. The Pilaf's Trove pack is definitely worth your money, guys. Okay, it's nine ninety nine. And you're getting, I mean, actually $9.99 for me. I think for uh, Americans in the US, it should be like $5.99 or $6.99. Either way, it's cheaper. It's definitely cheaper. You're getting seven tickets with a guaranteed SSR on those tickets. And you're also getting a bunch of random stuff like character slots, all that stuff, which is cool. Um, nothing too crazy, but I think it's definitely worth the money if you are willing to spend on this game. In fact, let me just quickly turn off my game for a second so I can pick this up. And of course, we got we got to do some summons here. We got to do some summons. So, yeah, there we go. Money has been spent. We got the pack. That's seven tickets. I'm also probably gonna do a multi too because if you guys missed it, you do get um, a discounted multi in the beginning for the first multi. It's 40 stones versus 50 stones. So, uh, yeah, if you guys you know like I said are missing a couple of these units, I think it's a pretty good deal. I would do that first multi at the very least, and then maybe call it a day depending on you know how it goes. But uh, that first multi, I think, is still worth. Overall value on this banner, very, very good. And for people that already have everybody, I would say definitely skip it, right? Even if you have, like, no dupes, I just don't think it's worth it to go for dupes at this point. But um, obviously, it's your call. Like I said, some of the best TURs in the game. Hopefully, we get one of them today in this multi here. Ooh, okay, so it doesn't. it's not looking good so far. But um, the only one I'm missing, obviously, is the Gohan. Right, so if I get Gohan, I'm set. If I don't, I can buy him. So one way or another, we're getting future Gohan here. Bannies? Ah, damn it, okay. So yeah, the Stone Multi, not looking the greatest. SSR, all right, not looking the greatest. We'll do our tickets too. It's gonna be a triple SSR Multi at the very least, unfortunately. I don't think we're gonna get a featured unit here. Um, but that, ooh, gash though. Lord Trugesh has made an appearance. Our luck could be turning here, guys. Our luck could be... No! Freaking Janelle! <gasps> oh, man. Okay, so we got four SSRs in the salty. Vados, amazing pull. She's rainbowed, though. I rainbowed her. Actually, yeah, I pulled five copies on the Kefla banner. Trying to go for one copy of Kefla, so... Unfortunately, um, not the most hype multi over all four SSRs. None of them I can use at this point, but hey, 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 you know, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yo, let's do our ticket here. Uh, by the way, you can't you can also get seven tickets through missions, so, ooh, okay. Okay, give it to me, give it to me. Yo, let's make this a group sum of the tickets, like I said, good deal. I mean, this wasn't guaranteed by any means, but still, um, we're, you know what? It always happens like this where I get a Shugesh first, and then the next multi, the multi after we get the R Shugesh, we have some pretty good luck. Okay, so Shugesh luck still coming through. Let me pull down here. We're going to do a group summon. If you guys are summoning as well, then feel free to join in with me. We're going to share some of this luck, some of, some of this uh, Shugesh uh, fusion luck in three, two, two, one. Let it rip. All right. Give me Gohan. Give me Gohan. Or give me anybody... That's not uh, Vegeta. Anybody that's not Vegeta, or or Cooler actually. Yeah, Cooler's Rainbow too. Um, but outside of those two, I will take anybody else. 
I'll take it. Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku. I think that's dupe number three. Yo, yo, as soon as he popped up. So I, I'm on a playlist right now, right? On iTunes. And uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin theme started playing as soon as Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku appeared in the summons. That's crazy. I did not time that. It's on, it's on random. It's, like, it's on a random shuffle. There were like all the themes in the game. So that's kind of a crazy coincidence. <gasps> Yo! Yo, okay. What a multi. <laughs> what a multi. First of all, four SSRs in a seven unit multi. And then we got Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku and also Namek Goku, both of which I can use. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, man. Okay, I, I didn't get Gohan, but I will absolutely take this, man. I, I, I can't complain. I cannot complain at all. So, uh, yeah, let me feed these dupes in, and then we're gonna buy our Gohan too, because obviously I, I need him. I'm not gonna wait for him to come back again. Who knows when that's gonna be? So, yeah, definitely picking up Gohan and uh, completing our collection of TURs. I think, yeah, I think Gohan's the only TUR in the game right now that I don't have in my possession. So, you gotta grab him. But well, let me feed this Namek Goku in too. That is our second dupe. Perfect. Yo. <laughs> What did I tell you, man? That pre throw pack is mad worth. Like, that value is crazy. The overall value of the banner, like I said, even without a new unit, is still really, really crazy. Um, cause, cause for, for banners with new units, you're never gonna get this many top tier TURs at once featured. Like, it's just not gonna happen. The only reason there's so many TURs featured is because, um, actually, should I, should I do a few more additionals? I think I should. Cause, um, he builds that defense with additionals, so. I feel like I should go additional. I actually already did. Um, 17, 9. I guess that's okay. Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's just go 20. Let's, let's just go 20. I just like seeing that 20. I'll give him a, um, probably some skill orbs for additionals. There you go, guys. Okay. 79% Namek Goku. 90% Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku. And we're gonna go over to the Bob Shop here. And I'm gonna pick up my first. My first Int Future Gohan. Right over here. Boom. Done. Got him. Now every Dokkan Fest, actually every TUR in the game is uh, in your boy's possession. That feels pretty good. There we go. We'll get him done later. I'm not going to do it on stream or on video or anything like that. But uh, yeah, guys, <laughs> that's it. That's that's all I want to say. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the fact that there is no new unit on this banner. Uh, I, at first, I was like a little bit... I don't know. I was a little bit put off by it. I was like, why are they doing this? But then after, you know, giving it some thought, after seeing, you know, just who was featured, um, I can't say I'm mad. Honestly, I can't say I'm mad. And it makes it easier for people who, you know, already have all these units to actually save up, right? Instead of having to, you know, spend more stones for whatever new unit we get, we can just save for what we know is, what we know is already coming, like the Golden Frieza, Jiren, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Kalkian and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, and uh, so on and so forth. So, <sighs> that's it, guys. Feels good. Feels good. It's been a long time since I did a summoning video and actually felt good about the results. Like, that doesn't actually happen very often. But uh, today, we're feeling good. Um, I Money well spent, for sure. 10 bucks for Super Saiyan Blue Kalkian Goku and Super Saiyan uh, Namek Super Saiyan Goku. I'll take that deal any day of the week, man. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you planning to summon on this banner? Or are you skipping and saving for future things? Like I said, if you're missing like three or, three or more of these um, featured units, it's probably not a bad deal to do at least like a couple summons. But obviously, the ultimate choice is up to you. That's just my suggestion. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.